Hi, I'm Mike Auerbach, Editor-in-Chief, Pharmaceutical Processing Magazine. I'm here at Interfex 2011 at the Facility of the Year Award booth, and I'm here with Aaron Vernon from Metamune. Uh, his uh, facility, the Frederick Manufacturing Center Expansion, has won the uh, category of uh, Project Execution. And uh, Aaron, can you tell me a little bit about the facility, uh, the reasons for the, the facility, and what products you're manufacturing there? Sure. It's a, a 337,000 square foot uh, large-scale mammalian cell culture-based uh, production facility. Um, that uh, square footage includes laboratories, offices, uh, that production space, warehouse, and utility space. Uh, it was built uh, uh, for two reasons. One, Metamine is a very uh, large pipeline, over 100 products in the, uh, uh, in the pipeline right now, and based on our current projections, we were going to need a, uh, a great deal of more capacity than we currently had. And the first product we're putting in there is uh, Synergis, which is the uh, which has been uh, manufacturing at, at the uh, Frederick Manufacturing Center for the last 11 years. And it's the uh, first uh, FDA approved uh, uh, product for um, uh, for prophylaxis against a uh, uh, infectious disease. So that's what we're we're starting with, and then uh, again bringing products along the pipeline and in, in, into the facility. How important to the uh, overall success of the facility has been the input of uh, equipment vendors and service providers? It's been uh, it's been incredibly important. In, uh, in particular, our um, our some of our uh, equipment vendors, such as uh, Technoserve, our uh, bioreactor vendor, uh, ACC, Automated Control Concepts, our uh, process control system integrator, and and most importantly, our uh, construction management team of uh, Floor Corp and uh, Parsons Commercial Technology Group. We couldn't have uh, completed the job without them and the help of all of our uh, our vendors. Uh, if you could pick one aspect or feature of the facility that you're most proud of, what would that be? The facility or the project itself? I think uh, I think we're incredibly proud of the safety record of the project. Uh, we uh, completed the job with 2.3 million man hours without a lost time incident. And uh, considering the uh, staffing levels and the densities of work going on at the job, it's pretty remarkable to, uh, to be able to get that level of uh, a safety on, on a job site like this. Um, and finally, uh, regarding the Facility of the Year program, uh, how do you feel about it? What's your experience been? Can you tell me a little bit about that? Uh, well, I have to admit that uh, when we uh, started this project, uh, a lot of people were aware of the, uh, of the program. And uh, though at the time we didn't do anything differently to try to win, the plan had always been to uh, apply for a Facility of the Year award. Now, however, I'm seeing within our uh, engineering group, you're seeing project teams who are actually sitting down as projects begin and trying to determine what categories they would uh, apply for and how they can uh, innovate to be able to uh, potentially win those uh, awards. So I think it's great. I think it should, uh, it's great to be recognized for winning and for doing such a great job as a project manager. To be recognized for a project execution is, uh, is a dream come true, but also I think it will help drive innovation and, uh, and improve the entire industry. Well, thanks for your time today, and uh, best of luck with the overall award. Thanks very much. Appreciate it.